Now, did you know that there are three R's to every habit? And if you can change one or more of those three R's, then you can change the habit. My name is James Dan from Inner Anthem and welcome to another episode of Inner Anthem Insights. And why is this important? Well, if you think about it, we're, we're currently in 2021. We've had lots of lockdowns, lots of challenges. A lot of people have got into bad habits, negative habits. It could be eating too much. It could be sitting down in front of the television too much. It could be, you know, those kind of instant gratitude things that we we tend to gravitate towards when we're we're feeling a bit stressed or a bit anxious uh, and we need that that pick me up. OK, so. What we want to do is we want to get an understanding of the different aspects of habits, the different um, parts to a habit, so that if we were to change certain parts of a habit, we can actually change the habits and change from those negative disempowering habits to more of the, the positive ones that are going to affect our lives. So these are the three parts. The first part to a habit, the first R is reminder so it's the letter r for reminder reminder okay so let's give an example let's say your phone rings your mobile phone or cell phone whatever you call it your phone rings that's the reminder and what it reminds us to do is actually then it's the second r which is the routine it's the behavior and the routine is oh we we, we look at the phone and generally, we answer that phone. It doesn't have to be ringing, of course. The phone, the reminder or the prompt could be that you, you it goes ping. You hear a, a message of some kind, a notification of some kind. That's the prompt. That's the reminder. And then the routine, we're so used to this. The routine is, ah, oh, my phone's gone off. Let's have a little look at what that is. Let's answer it. Let's reply to them, whatever it actually is. OK, so that's the reminder and the routine. We then get the third R, which is the reward. And the reward in this case is, well, we've we've had contact from someone. It might be that we've got a new friend request. Uh, it might be that we've got a new connection, new notification about something that we find exciting. Someone's ringing us. We, we want to speak to them. You know, it's some kind of reward that we actually get. Or it could also be a punishment as well. All right. So it depends who you answer the phone to. Maybe maybe it's a cold call or something like that. But the third R is reward. So let's use that example then. So the three R's, the reminder, the routine and the reward. And let's use those examples to see how we could change that habit. So the first thing is the reminder, the prompt. How can we stop that reminder, if you find that you're always on your phone, you're on your phone too much, you're looking at it too much, what can we do about it? The first thing actually is what we can do is we can take out, take away the reminder. So what we could do is we could get rid of our phone. We could put our phone elsewhere. We could turn it off. We could silence it. We could put it in another room. You know, I've heard of people who lock up their phone or something like that. So that's the first thing you take out the reminder. OK, same like if you're always walking down the street and you always have to go into the, the sweet shop or, uh, you know, the, the shop that sells nice cakes. Um, you take out a reminder by walking a different way so that you don't actually pass that shop. So that that's the first thing. Then the behavior. You can obviously change your behavior. Now, this is sometimes harder. But again, once that reminder has gone off, you can create a new behavior by actually just changing that, doing something different. It might be, for example, every time that your phone goes off, uh, you, you actually do 10 star jumps instead of actually answer the phone, something like that. Um, now, it sounds a bit silly, sounds a bit crazy. You come up with your, your own methods. But, you know, the behavior, we can obviously change that so we don't actually answer that phone. Um, and the third thing is, it, it's actually changing the reward as well. So what you could do in that phone example is basically if you if you didn't actually answer that phone, think about the rewards that you're getting. You're getting better productivity. 
You're going to have more time to do other things. You're not going to be drawn into all the debates and complaints on social media or, or whatever it is. OK, you're not going to get angry from that cold call or whatever it is. OK, so I, I for example, when I'm um, working at home, if, if the actual home phone goes off, I don't answer it. OK, because the people that really need me, they can get me on my mobile phone. So, you know, I just make a point of I'm not answering the home phone. OK, so that that for me, there's still a reminder there, but I've changed the behavior. And the reward is I know that I'm not going to get frustrated with cold calls and I can just carry on with my work a little bit more. You can create more rewards as well. So if you wanted to change your behavior, for example, of um, let's say we wanted to change the behavior of uh, you, you're eating too much on your plate. Um, the, the, the habit, you're, you're, you're eating too much on your plate. So what you can actually do is once you leave some of the food on your plate, then what you could actually do is you could reward yourself by playing some of your favorite music or something like that. It sounds a bit silly, but again, if you can over time, your mind will start to associate that when you don't stuff your face and, and finish that whole plate full of food that you actually feel good afterwards because you're playing your favorite music, you're dancing around and you get that release of endorphins. Your mind starts to associate that it's actually good. It's a good reward not to finish all the food on that plate. So what do you think of that? If you are watching this, and I'm not sure whether that actually froze or anything, but if you are watching this, what do you think? Does it make sense to you? Do you have any habits that you want to change? Have a little think, separate them. So your task is to separate them into the three R's. What's the reminder? What's the routine? And what's the reward? If you try and change any of those or all three of them, then hopefully you'll be on to a winner in regards to that habit. So as always, let me know, fire any questions you've got for me, uh, any comments, uh, you know, share this, anyone who needs to know this, anyone who, who's struggling to get out of a habit, uh, let me know. And of course, um, if I can uh, be of service, then I will do. Thanks for watching. Now, before you go, make sure you download this free, powerful visualization that I've given you access to. The address is on the screen. Just type that out and you'll get instant access.